Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. Proverbs 3, verse 13. Hi, my name is Nikilia, and I would like to invite you to plug in and get connected to YES, Youth Empowerment Session. Someone is lost, stuck in the dirt, buried alive. Buried alive. Remember someone who wrapped the dreams, living a lie. Hallelujah. This is for them, they look pretty alienated, but I. Come on. Remember the pain, all the sorrow, all the fights. Yes, sir. Too many times, too many trials, too many days, too many nights. Trusting who's working, working their hardest. Walking the line, stuck in the dirt, buried alive. Buried alive. Remember someone who wrapped the dreams, living a lie. Hallelujah. This is for them, they look pretty alienated, but I. Come on. Remember the pain, all the sorrow, all the fights. Yes, sir. Too many times, too many trials, too many days, too many nights. Trusting who's working, working their hardest. Walking the line, stuck in the dirt, buried alive. Buried alive. Remember someone who wrapped the dreams, living a lie. Hallelujah. This is for them, they look pretty alienated, but I. Come on. Remember the pain, all the sorrow, all the fights. Yes, sir. Too many times, too many trials, too many days, too many nights. Trusting who's working, working their hardest. Walking the line, stuck in the dirt, buried alive. morning church it's good to be seen by you one more time I see some of you in Sunday school and I want you to continue to come to church school and to Bible studies that's another way for us to be able to stay in contact with one another I thank God for all of the leaders and all of the teachers. And I want the members of the church to come to those kinds of, of uh, meetings. Uh, we have had some days when it, it was snowing or sleeting. So please be careful when walking or driving. If you don't have to go out during the snow, stay in the house. I called Dick, Dick and Samuels regarding the weather there in Texas. I know he has family members there and I pray that they are all doing well. Pray that they're still safe. This is the happy birthday month, the last part of the month. And I want to wish happy birthday to those who are celebrating birthdays in the month of February. I know that Brother Arrington and others are celebrating their birthday. 
And my daughter, Sheree, is selling her birthday as well. Happy birthday, Sheree. And to all who are celebrating birthdays in the month of February. I heard from a young man who is no longer incarcerated. He called to let me know that he is able to be out now. And he wanted me to contact Sister Rose McClay Jones. Let him know, let her know that he is out and will try to contact her. Sister Rose McClary Jones contacted this brother while he was incarcerated, and she was able to get the word in. Sometimes the people can't get in, but the word can get through the bars. So we thank God for Sister Rose. I thank God for Trustee Wright and the other trustees for making sure that snow ice is removed as soon as possible from our property. On a sad note, Sister Gloria Bailey has gone on to be with the Lord. Uh, I want you to keep Emory Bailey in your prayers the entire family. Sister Bailey was a faithful member of the church. She and Emory were inseparable. I thank God for her faithfulness. Wherever you saw Sister Bailey, you would see Emory falling behind. The funeral for her will be on March the 1st, 11 o'clock, at Rollins Funeral Home. Also, we are uh, in bereavement for Tammy Watt's father. And um, Tony Lawson, Tony Lawson's mother. So keep those families in your prayers. And I also want you to know that you, the church, send flowers to all of the members of all of the members of our church who have family members who pass away. Lord have mercy. It's been quite a few this year. But I want you to know our church has not forgotten them, and neither should you. Sister Graham and I send sympathy cards to each one of them. And if you can, I would ask that you do the same thing. I certainly want to thank I thank all of you for how you've been so faithful in sending your tithe and offerings. Thank you for being so faithful, sending in your tithe and your offerings. I thank God for our trustees who come in and make sure that your money is placed in, in the bank and you are given credit for it. And remember that our mailbox is a locked mailbox. So if you drive by, and put it in the slot. You don't have to worry about anything. It'll be there. Trustees will take good care of it. Good morning, church. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. This morning's scripture will be coming from the book of St. Luke. For those who are not familiar with St. Luke, it's in the New Testament. 
So I shall be reading the word of God from beginning in chapter 19 and include all the way down to verse 1 through 7. And it reads as follows. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was a chief among the pumpkins. And he was rich and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus who he was. And he could not for the press because he was of little statue. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they, they saw it, they all mumbled, saying, that he was going to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Amen for the word of God, for the people of God. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, it's in the name of Jesus Christ we come, Lord, this morning. We come, Lord, asking you to forgive us, Lord. Forgive us some of the things that we did that might not be according to your will or your way, Lord. So please forgive you. Lord, we come today not really asking you for so much, Lord. We just want to come and have a little talk with you, Lord, and let you know how we feel about you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We are so happy to be under your watchful eye, Lord, because we know when we trust in you, Lord, everything is going to be all right, Lord. We just also, Lord, we just want to give you some praise and thanks for all you have, doing, have, you have done through not only each one of our lives, but those who might come to know you, Lord, today as a pastor comes to give a word and encouragement to those who are already given their life to you and those who might need to give their life to you, Lord. So, Lord, we just come saying thank you for being who you are. Thank you first for answering our prayers, Lord. You always answer our prayers, Lord, when we pray earnestly, Lord. So thank you for that, Lord. And then we also say, Lord, thank you for being who you are, giving us another chance, Lord, a chance that sometimes nobody else even would give us, Lord. So, Lord, continue watching over this church as we look forward, Lord, one day when we all will gather together at the altar and give all praise to you, Lord, because under your watch for cure, Lord, you have kept us all here. I pray and ask all these things in Jesus Christ's name. I say amen. I want to thank Deacon Palmer. Deacon Palmer came down to read the passage of scripture for us today. I've been knowing Deacon Palmer for a long time. Deacon Palmer, faithful member of the church. Uh, he read from us from the book of Luke, the 19th chapter, verses 1 through and including 7. The book of Luke, 19th chapter, verses 1 through 7. I'd like for you to pray for me as I preach from the subject, overcoming obstacles. I say I'd like to pr you for to pray for me as I try to preach God's word from the subject, overcoming obstacles, 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 obstacles. What is an obstacle? Webster's Collegiate Dictionary tells me an obstacle is anything that stands in the way of or holds up progress. Stands in the way of or holds up progress. It could be man-made, could be natural, it could be a human. It could be psychological. It could be an animal. All of these have uh, are called obstacles. All of us 
at one time or another have faced obstacles. If you never faced an obstacle in your life, just keep on living. Do I have a weakness? Amen. Amen. Some obstacles are very difficult to overcome. When I was in the Air Force and basic training, we had to cross obstacles called an obstacle course, including jumps, rope climbings, and running over and under obstacles. Some fellows made it, and some did not. Some needed help to cross the finish line. There was always a mean sergeant there who encouraged us to finish the course. Those who cheated had to start all over again. Lord have mercy. There are those who cheated. Those who cheated uh, had to start all over again. And it was a test of endurance. And also, an obstacle is a test of your willpower. Uh, Deacon Palmer was also a test of seeing fellows helping one another to pass the obstacle test. Perhaps that's why uh, I heard in the army they had the motto, no man left behind. The one thing I learned was how to overcome my obstacle. Life is like an obstacle course. I think I just said something. I said life is like an obstacle course. It has its ups and it has its downs. No obstacle is the same for everyone. Your obstacle may be more difficult than my obstacle. Just like that sergeant, God is there to help us overcome our obstacles. Lord, have mercy. Uh, God is always there. You, you have to understand, he may not, you may not see him or feel him, but he always there. He may not come when you call him, but he's always on time. Somebody call him an on-time God. I'm in the word. I'm in the word, Deacon Palmer. Amen. Our lesson today tells us of a man who had to overcome his obstacle. His name was Zacchaeus. This is one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible, mainly because I, I believe Zacchaeus and I have something in common. Zacchaeus was a little fella. And as the lesson opens, the Bible tells us that Jesus is passing through a town called Jericho. There were many people there to see him, and there was also Zacchaeus there. Zacchaeus was a little fella, and the Bible says that uh, we have some information about Zacchaeus. Number one, 
He was a chief among publicans. A chief. He's the head man among publicans. Number two, he was rich. Had plenty of money. Number three, he saw Jesus. And he, number four, he was little in stature. Uh, and being little in stature, he couldn't see over those who were taller than him. Number five, being little in stature, chat statue, he, he could hardly see Jesus. It was very difficult for him, and he wanted to get around the crowd. Sometimes tall people make it difficult for us little guys. Uh, to see them. And we have to look around, find some way to see over them. But the thing I want to make sure that you, you understand, the people in front of him was his obstacle, but he wanted to see Jesus. If you really want to see Jesus, you'll find a way. I think I just said something. The crowd, the crowd standing in front of Zacchaeus. And it was not easy for him to see Jesus. I want to say one more thing before I move on. You have, it may have obstacles in your way, but if you try to make it, you can make it if you try. Yeah. The Bible tells us that Brother Zacchaeus ran ahead of Jesus. And the crowd, he knew the route that Jesus was going to take. He ran around Jesus and climbed the tree. This was not an ordinary tree, as you may know. It was a sycamore tree. The sycamore tree was very popular in that area. The sycamore tree does not grow very tall. So it was not difficult for Zacchaeus to climb it. Zacchaeus climbed the sycamore tree in order to see Jesus. When Jesus came to the place where the tree was, he saw Zacchaeus up in the tree. Uh, Zacchaeus looking down on Jesus Jesus looking up Zacchaeus that must have been very unusual to see a man up in a tree but Jesus knew who he was and Jesus knows who you are. He calls him by his name. <laughs> he calls him by his name. He says, Zacchaeus, hurry up. Get down here. I'm going home with you today. Zacchaeus. And the Bible says, make haste. Don't, don't, don't tarry. 
I'm going home with you today. You can imagine how he felt. After all, all the people were there. The crowd was there. And of all the people who he called, he called Zacchaeus' name. One of these days he may call you. Are you listening? Can you imagine how Zacchaeus felt? <laughs> of all the people in the crowd, he called my name. He called him by his name. Do you know you and does he know your name? If not, why not? He wants to know your name. The people were surprised that Jesus would come down. He, he was invited to go home with Zacchaeus. Don't you know who Zacchaeus is, Lord? Zacchaeus is a thief. He's a tax collector. He took a little bit off the, off the top and a little bit off the bottom. Zacchaeus came down from the tree. He said, Zacchaeus, I'm going home with you today. Zacchaeus said, oh, Lord, I'm going to change. He says, I'm going to pay back all the money I owe those people. And I'm going to give half to the poor people. Zacchaeus realized it was time to confess. He said, I'm going to give half of my goods to the poor. And if I've taken anything, I will restore it to that person four times over. Jesus said to him, salvation has come to this house today. Zacchaeus, stick a pin in that, stick a pin in that, stick a pin in that. Zacchaeus, a crook, a thief, came to see Jesus, crawled up in the tree, a thief came down, he was saved. Lord have mercy. The tree, the tree allowed him to see Jesus. The tree uh, helped him to overcome his obstacle. So my question today is, what is your obstacle? What is your obstacle. What's stopping you from being saved at this time? Right now we're going through this virus. The virus is an obstacle. How do I know? I can see. I have one, two, three, four folk here. It's an obstacle keeping us from coming to church. Every week I come to give the lesson. I have to look at Barry Hutchins. Obstacle kept us from seeing one another. The obstacle has caused pain. The obstacle has caused us to lose loved ones. Obstacle, virus, 
has caused us sadness. The Bible tells us another story of Moses leading the people out of Egypt land. You remember the story. Moses, God had told him to tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. Moses followed orders, that's more than some of us do. Went to the king. I can see him now, stick his chest out. Say, God told me to tell you, let his people go. After some encounters, he let the people go. But then he had second thought. He sent the army after them. They were riding on their horses and camels to catch up with them. Uh, uh, 3,000 people or more running away from Egypt and they almost caught him. They got to the Red Sea. The Red Sea was an obstacle. How are we going to cross the Red Sea, Moses? You brought us here. We followed your orders. You say God told you to. We're here, lined up here at the Red Sea. I don't see a boat. I don't see a bridge. How are we going to, are we going to get? Moses did the best thing he could do. He called on God. I think I said something. When you face your obstacle, the best you can do, call on God. Do I have a weakness here? He called on God. God did what God usually does. In this case, he spoke to the river. And the waters party on one side or the other. Over 3,000 people passed all over to the other side. And you must understand something here. They passed on the other side on dry land. Now, who wouldn't serve a God like that? God allowed them to pass to the other side. Bible, the Bible tells us of another fellow, uh, because I said to you, sometimes, sometimes obstacles are people. You know anybody? You know anybody who's an obstacle? Sometimes obstacles are people. People will get in your way. Sometimes on your job, you can have somebody who's an obstacle. Goliath was an obstacle. Goliath, because of his size, was an obstacle. But God sent a little boy to remove the obstacle. Oh, God can use anybody. So God used Daniel. God used David. And since God used David, I know that God can use you. You can overcome your obstacle if you only believe. Can I say that again? I said, you can overcome your obstacle if you would only believe. 
Nothing is too hard for God. So my question to you today is, what is your obstacle? Is it a man? Is it a woman? Is it your job? Is it, is it liquor? Drugs? What is your obstacle? Face your obstacle and tell God to remove your obstacle so that you can overcome your obstacle. The last thing I want to say is this. When God does something for you, tell somebody. You see, that's, 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 that's the problem that I, I have with some people. When God, God removes their obstacles, they don't tell anybody. Tell somebody uh, to remove your obstacle. God will make a way for you. He always has, and he always will. As soon as the church is open, as soon as the church is open, if you are a member of anybody's church, join somebody's church, please. Learn more about this man called Jesus. Learn how you can worship him and have him remove your obstacle. And thank God that you have a savior. Let the church say amen. Yeah, no things are possible when we believe an old chain to break My sisters and my brothers, I encourage all of you to give your life to Christ, to join somebody's church and work, your, work out your, soul, your life's salvation. God saved you. If you have not been saved, go to the church and give your life to Christ. Go to church and worship God. He's worthy of your worship. And be sure to tell somebody how good God has been to you. When you go to church, if you have not joined a church, go to church and run down the aisle and give the pastor your hand. Tell him that you want, or her, that you want to give your life to Christ. And when you do, you will never be the same again. Amen. You keep your promises. My sisters and my brothers, time for us to leave. I want to give the benediction so that we may be able to leave on one accord. And now may the grace, the love, the peace, and the joy of our Lord and Savior. His name is Jesus. Sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. May it rest, rule, and abide with all of us. Now, henceforth, and forevermore. 
And those who love the Lord said, Amen.